Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Uh, on this one here, I'm going to try to fabricate a little bit on the back, try to get it to what it's going to look like. I uh, just want to go through what I've been doing while, you know, what I've been doing off camera. We've got the, the pieces put in to straighten out the roof rafters so we're exactly two feet on each one. So we got a, a brace in here, we got a brace in here, in the middle also, one up there, another one there. Uh, now we know when we put on a four foot sheet of metal, it's going to run halfway on this. This is going to be the center of it and it's going to run halfway on this. As you can see, we have three more roof rafters made, I'm going to call them, because I don't know what else to call them, roof rafters. Uh, we have, we made them according to this one. And what's going to happen is they're all going to be pulled off, just like when me and Jolene made them last time. We'll put them on every two foot center. So we got one marked off here. We got one marked off here. And then we have one marked off here. So in actual fact, um, this is what it's going to be. One sheet of metal I measured from the center down to the bottom of this will be seven feet. So there'll be one sheet of metal here from, from this one back halfway, one sheet of metal. Then up, and then we have two feet, four feet, and then there'll be another sheet of metal wrapped up here. Um, so that means one, two, three, four. So then we have another one back here. So we're going to have uh, six sheets of 18 gauge wrapping this thing. It's not going to take very long to wrap it. Um, the, the only thing with wrapping it is I have to finish all this inside stuff first. I'm starting, starting slowly to figure out how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take you along with me, but on this one, I'm at the back. So I'm going to go to the other side. There was a piece in here that we rolled for the front. And if you watch that video, if you did not, you have to go back and watch it. But we used three quarter inch square stock because it fit better than the inch square stock. Also, you can see I have, I've put a gusset in here for that front end. We want, there's lots of pressure going on there. We want it, we're gonna walk in there, stand in there, sit in there, whatever. But we have a gusset there, so that's hard to come forward as we're welded all the way along here in the center, all the way along. It just strengthens everything. It just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. These are not taken off and put in place yet because we have not got the engine in place yet. Um, but what I did have, I have, you know, and I was just doing this and then Joey said, well, we should probably film that. Well, this is the piece that we made for the front. Doug rolled that out, made that piece for the front for around the windows. It did not work. We did not use it. And the reason being, it was sort of too big. So what I've got going on here, I was going to square the bum off and run it up, kind of give it a swoop down like that, give it a sharp look. But as of the moment, I've got this piece, I had this, this hoop that we had rolled. I've got half a, half a hoop there, and I've got one probably four foot piece up front. So I'm, I'm out of metal. And uh, this is what it's making me do. I do not want to stop on it. I want to continue on. So this is what I'm doing. I'm checking and seeing if I can make this, this tail of the Texaco tanker. I'm gonna make the tail um, this way, I think, just because I've got the metal. If I had different metal, I probably would try to see if I could stud that up and do that, but I do not. So I'm gonna go for this. When I had the hoop, it was too big, too wide, or yeah, it was too wide or too far out. I cut it in half. So I cut it in half, overlapped it. I've just kind of laid it on top of this here right now. Um, what I'm thinking is, is I might cut this off, cut that off, same with the other side, and then I can run that hoop around. That'll give me, that'll give me, I don't know if I'll use that or not, I'll probably leave that on there, but that'll give me some more metal there, or some more flat stock there. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just actually trying to make this come to a point or a, a tail so I can bring pieces down. I have a half a hoop up here. I'm gonna roll a hoop, uh, or half a hoop, or whatever metal I got left, and I'm gonna see if I cannot get something going like that um, up to the center. And I'm basically going to do, no doubt in my mind, the exact same thing that was done to the window area. Uh, make it in panels so it goes easier. So we'll go one, two, three. You know, we'll just keep continuing around. I'm not sure what's going on there yet. Don't know yet. Um, we'll get to it though, no doubt in my mind. And we'll have to do something with it. Where this is not coming together, down here, um, I've actually 
took a slice of it before we even started it. I cut it right there um, and I just, I'm gonna relief it because I'm gonna bend these out. I'm coming around here. Um, it's basically, I looked before it started curling in. I'm gonna make it curl out a little bit. I'm gonna cut this one the exact same spot. What I'm gonna do is, I've cut that in the center. They're overlapping there. I'm saying the center is right about here somewhere. I'm just gonna measure that where I cut it. Five and a quarter. I'm gonna cut this one five and a quarter. Lost my marker already, did I? Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. Um, we're really, it's, it's going fairly quick, um, but it's taken me some time in the old brain to figure out where I'm going, uh, you know, with each piece. And I can't, I couldn't weld this rafter on the back without Joanne's help, so I had to go down the house and get her. I might even have to get her help uh, before I go any, you know, before I do something else, but it's just sort of a two-man job sometimes holding the square stock in place. Gonna relief it in the same spot, five and a quarter on the other side. I'm just gonna relief that. And the reason I'm reliefing that is because I'm gonna bend this out. We're coming around here. I maybe should have relieved it back a little further, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna relief it there and see if I can't get it so it comes out together instead of tucking in like that. Don't want that. This is what I'm gonna do. want to go to that I don't want to cut through that I just want to go to it and that way there I can bend it I think I can bend it now I want to leave that hmm. doesn't look very good does it it didn't look very good I got one on let's bend this one out That's what I was afraid of. It wasn't going to look that good with the bend in it, but that's because it's rolled so far. I should have probably bent it back here, probably where you wouldn't have noticed it so much. Let's put that back in there. Put that back where that's going to go. Just looking at the angles and trying to find out the angle where I can slice it. That did not work. It doesn't look that good. It uh, just doesn't look that good. If I went a little further. Now I've got it sliced there. It'll probably take off on me. I can weld that back up. I have the piece pieces here that I made for roof rack. I just want to check that out. Everything's bent so, so far that um, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I can come back a little further and try to bend it out. That's what I think I'll do. I'll just do this. From the line, seven. Hoping everything's staying in place. Just clamped it on. I'm gonna tack. Ah, the bends that I had in the first place back together maybe or maybe not just gonna do this just so they don't take off on me I might have to open it back up I don't know just so I want to bend it back there if I didn't put a little tack on that it probably would open that up before the other one it's still not gonna look that good. still not gonna look that good Got a little kink going on there. Hmm. 
just don't like that little kink right there. And the pipe is rolled so hard that I could roll it back, but no, I could hammer it back. This is rolled so hard here that it's hard. Not making me happy. What I was looking for is I would just cut it and bring it together, but I'm not sure I don't like that really. What I could do is I could weld get that going like that I could throw some weld in there on that piece right in there weld that up a little bit and then flush it off so it looked good I probably could do that probably could do that basically what I'm doing is looking and seeing if this distance, this what this one's opened up, is it, if it's the same as that one, it basically would be the same. I'm just going to do that, and I'll put throw a little weld in them corners and build it up and then flush it off. Basically, what I want to do is I want to cut that in the center. See what happens. I just eyed it up. Check it out. Not a bad eye. Quite a gap though. Alright. We'll get a pair of pliers and put that together. You can see where it's kinked there a little bit. Where I've bent it, like I said, what I'll do is I'll weld. I'm hoping this brings it together so it's even. Looking good so far. That's kind of sucked in there a little bit, isn't it? Let's knock the knit, let's knock the tab off where I open that up. Maybe we can open that one up a little bit. somehow you know what's moved because now we have a tight fit or tighter fit and it's a better looking fit just looking for the gap see if they look the same get a little bit of I'm gonna go with that it's it's coming sort of round there I'm gonna go with that the reason being it looks somewhat okay we're connected back there still we're connected up there still. Just looking back there and see what's going on. And what I am doing is I am 
actually trying to go forward without having anything. Um, I have not got any more square stock right at the present second, and I want to continue on, so I'm coming up with um, this back piece. That's basically the end of it. One pair of glasses. So I'm trying to go forward with what I have. I hope you can understand that. Try not to let anything slow me down. Had a nice gap on it. I'm just going to weld them up, I guess. Why not? Sure does lay down nice when there's a gap. There's no gap, it doesn't lay down that nice. here for a second it doesn't look that bad on the outside but what I can do is put a weld on here and I'll buff that so it looks round Put a little meat on the outside. So what I do is I take my flapper wheel knock it, make it look straight. It doesn't look bad on that one. A little extra on that one. A little extra on that one. Stop it. So, you're watching me do something that I'm not sure of, but I just made two pieces that fit in there. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna cut that off, cut this off, cut that off in there. Um, we have sort of gonna fit there. It looks like it would fit in there. And then my piece that comes around here will be coming around. We're gonna have that, that tail thing going on, but, um, I'm gonna tear this, take this off. I probably should weld that up. Just gonna weld that center. Do not know if, do not know if this is gonna take off. This will not take off, because we got it braced here, we got it braced down there, out to there, that will not take off. But I do not know if this is gonna take off once I cut that off. 
I've got a marker. I'm going to mark it. I guess that's basically what's going on. Cut that off there. Gonna put a little angle on that. Going into that square stock. We'll mark this one over here. Come over here, do the exact same thing. Alrighty. I guess I'm going to have to get this in place before I put that. I'm going to have to, I'm going to try to roll another piece in that sort of shape. We'll bang it with a hammer if we have to. This stuff is hard, hard, hard to bang, but we'll go for it. Why not? Now, in order to get, the, I'm not going to shape it right now, but I'll, in order to get that in shape on the back side of this. That's what I'll do. I'll just kind of take that, give it a little bit of shape there. It's got, it looks like it's got a little dent going on there, but I don't think you'll notice time to get the sheet metal on it. But that's all I'll do. I'll just flatten that off so it looks good. So it's looking good. It doesn't look bad at all. I'm going to take this off. Got it marked where I'm going. off a little bit what do I mean by took off a little bit it moved and when I undone it I think my dog wants in Tina wants in we'll cut it off here in a second get my dog I'm hoping that everything stays in place then we'll have the exact same morning fiend bean I hope everything stays in place when I cut that off and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the corners off and I'm gonna keep the rest of it so now this piece was bent front front, that's hot. Woo! And that's how it goes. That piece was up for front up front. We're using it in the back. So I've got a mark there where I'm gonna cut it. Um, I've got a mark here, I'm gonna cut it off on this end first. Sometimes the four and a half inch just don't cut it. Well, they cut it, but just don't get in as far as you want to reach.
square. Not square, but I want it cut right. Looks okay. Looks okay, looks all right. Let's cut this one off. Pressure. It moves. Yes, it does. Now, I had a can and a piece of uh, two by four before on the back of that. And I might just do the exact same thing. This is the way, this is the way I had it. Let's get a can. We use metal, metal pro cans and a block of wood. There's the center. Let's tack it on. Gonna roll it up and see. It's almost like roll up the rim. That one fits really good. I think I'll weld this one first. I guess it does not matter. Right here, I'll weld well, this one first. But that one fit really good on that side. Fit really good. Seems like a nice cut, doesn't it? Ah, I need to let's do oh, let's do this. You pulling the welder over for you, Mary Sweetheart? She's the best. She's the one I love the best. All right, switch that. Knock that on. And it's not even on that can. Look how it lines up there. Those lines up nice. A little bit above that. That makes that work. Take a look here. I guess it does not matter. Now, when I move this, that moves. I'm going to tack it. Now, hold this. That's up a little bit. That's better than down. That fits good there. Fits good there. I'm happy with it. Don't care if it hits the can or not. Just look 
looking at it. All I'm looking for is this piece here. If that's looking straight, if it's looking bent, I don't, I don't like it. It looks okay. Probably could go down like a little tiny bit. How's it look for you? Huh? Looks good? This side here probably could come up a bit. Just a hair. How's it look to you? So it's because we should be bent down a little bit, is what you're saying? Huh? Um, is it cut? This one here looks. Like I could come up a little bit. Just like a hair. hair. Way better, that was good. That fits good. Actually, I'll just start running the zip cut as tight at the bottom of that so it won't come down. What I've got going on is the angle's coming together. It's tight at the bottom so it can't come down. I've tacked it, but it can't come down and go nice and straight without a little bit taken out. So I'm going to take a little bit out. You know what I'm trying to tell you. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Good now, don't it? To me, it does. I guess it was what matters. Beautiful. You are Joey. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. A nice gap in it so we can weld it. This gap going over here. So design has changed just like that and it's because of <laughs> me not having enough material to do what do something I want to do. Nice gap over here. I am sweating. Let to know tomorrow. Good. Now let's see if we can get a piece from the center down to there. See what is see what it's gonna look like.
hoping that that's center. Now, I'm going to try to find center on that. I do not have a long piece to put mix under that. That's bad. I have a piece of angle iron that I probably could use. Don't know if that's going to stay straight all the way across there or not. What's center of 92 and a half? Just gonna check if it's 92 and a half back here. It's not bad. It's really good, 92 and a half. Um, we're still at the, the same measurement um, from the front to the back. Uh, you know, it's staying pretty good. It's staying pretty good. What is it? What is it now? 46 and a quarter. Yeah, I'm going to call that. long enough but what's that or I can say it's close enough we center that looks center center Think. Either side of the line. Yeah, close enough. Just gonna center that up with that. Scent. That's where we want our piece to hit. And we'll know for center when we run those back, it hits that center, or we'll make it hit that center, I guess. Um, we have this piece here. This is sort of, I don't know, it's, it's a piece that we have here that I wouldn't mind making it hit center so we can see what the back's going to look like. And it's basically just to get a little bit of shape. Um, to see what things are going to look like. I'm going to take a piece of square stock. I wonder if I should just take, cut a piece of this off, roll a piece of this, instead of using the longer piece. So I got a piece over here where I cut off that corner. So we was going with the square ass, square bum, square ass, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to the, the round, I guess. Not sure if that's gonna work, but that's what we're doing. Just gonna use this piece. this back I need put this up on there 
so we really have to decide um, left this outdoors we really have to decide um, whether we are when we're getting the engine put in and that sort of stuff We have to get that engine in there. I don't know if the picker is going to go over far enough to put the engine in it. I'm thinking that we're going to put an, put an LS in it. And the reason being is, I think it's a little more power than just a normal 350. And uh, that's why I think we're going to use it. It's, you know, I think it would, it deserves a little power if it's going to pull. I think it should have some, a little more power. Got this bad boy. Here we go. The only problem with the roller that I have, it kind of, I say kind of, it. takes time, which everything takes time, I guess. But, uh, So we want it to match up with the curve that we have there on the floor, so we can weld it onto it somewhat. You know what I'm thinking, don't you, baby? <laughs> Jolie knows me well. Come on, girl. I'll roll that through again. We think, baby, we're getting close. Actually, it's a little, a little much, a little too much. We cut it halfway. It don't look bad, does it? Nope. It's got a flat spot on the end. It only goes so far, and then it gets a flat spot. I'm going to cut that flat spot off, and I'm going to use the round. And I'm going to give it a smoke. Try to take some of that center out of it. a little bit just a little bit way better just like that alrighty I'm gonna cut the straight part off hoping that I have enough better take a look first better take a look first that should be enough shouldn't it I've cut the straight part it it's gonna be close isn't it it's gonna be close Get a little flat spot in it going there. 
I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna have to. I just I don't want that in there. You can see where it's bent right on the end because I can't get it all the way through the roller. When the roller starts bending this thing, it leaves four to five inches at the end where you cannot get it through where it, where it rolls it. That's how we made these side these pieces. This is the piece that went straight that never went through the roller all the way. This is went through the roller. That piece there didn't give us a nice angle coming up and then round. We used it. The end I cut is the piece that we'll put on. And the reason being is we cut the flat part out of it off. And hopefully we get the flat part cut out off the top. Hopefully. Any luck at all. So, this is gonna go on by eye. I just added piece, we'll go on by eye. We want some gap. You guessed it. No ground. That looks good. That looks good. Dinner. Stop it. Gonna tack it like that. Gonna take a look at it. See if we're even straight. Ooh, that's that's good. Looks good. Not bad. Uh, da, 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 da. Had an inch wrench. Hard to put it back. Just want to turn that a little bit. Not fitting perfectly. You can see my lines aren't coming together there perfectly. I'm just going to put a wrench on it. Turn it a little bit, if I can. Here we go. I'm just going to hold that. Haven't got no ground on it. good. Just trying to match them two lines. All right. I'm going to nail along the top where the gap is. See how nicely that laid in there. Now, you can, you can see where the gap is not. See how tight it is at the bottom? Uh, the bottom there. I'm going to lay it back on there. Just going to tack it. I'm more intact. I zapped it. Going to take. The zip cut and open that up. Beautiful. You are Jolene. Beautiful. Now, where I've opened that up. Now I can penetrate that really nice. Now, if that wasn't opened up like that, that would be a big puddle. And you can see how nicely that's laid down there. And the reason being is, is it's penetrated through.
That's good. Turn the welder off. Let's flush the top off. There, I guess. Whew, I am sweating. Alrighty. I gotta find center down here. I'm thinking center's right about there where I welded it. Um, how am I gonna find that out? Looks good. She's smoking, baby. Just like you. Smoking. I'm gonna leave that gap down there for the welding purposes. And I'm gonna... See? Yeah. See? We'll see. Uh, I got six marks there. And I just choose one. That's all. Let's try it. Have not got any more. Well, I've got a little bit more, but nothing to make another one. Probably gonna have to zap some more off it. Just like I thought. That fits good up there. We'll cut an angle on that. It's gonna leave that at the bottom, but. Same angle, doesn't it? Might have a little bit more. Still a little bit. Still gonna cut a little bit more. Kind of wondering if I should take that and put that down there. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. shorter <laughs> and just keep cutting her that fits good up there don't it I cut it off this end better to cut it short or leave it a little long and cut it too short I guess
two-way struggle. Alrighty. Let's see, we're a wee bit more. Just a wee bit more. And we'll tack that on there and see what we got. We'll pull that roller off. Let's do it again. going to tack it on. Reason being is not sure if I like the angle number. It could be more straight. It could be, you know, we could have a straight down or whatever. But I'm just going to tack it on for now. Ground on there. Nope. tack it on too because I don't know if it's exactly center and if it's straight. I did get Jolene to show me a picture. All I do, all I can do is go by the pictures I guess that I see. Some are way different than others. You obviously can tell that too, because some of the ones that you look at on the internet are toys, and you don't realize it until you, until you really start looking at it. Um, and some of the authentic pictures do not show you exactly what you want to see, I guess. Try not to chip the paint on that. Anyways. There's what I have. Do not know if that's exactly straight or not, but it looked straight when I first started it. That's not a bad back, is it? Not a bad back at all. Not bad at all. Like it's not, it's pretty good, I think. It's pretty good. It's not bad. What's gonna have to happen here now is I'm gonna have to try to get this, these all these angles going right, which way I'm gonna run the rods to get the angles going right, uh, to do what we did in the front. Like the front turned out um, really good. The front turned it really good, but the back is going to be uh, something a little bit different than the front because it's not exactly round and we're going down this way. I'm hoping that I can get a piece in here and come around <clears throat> and get into there and then it's going to be onward from there because I feel like this could be, if I bring this around here somewhat in a little bit, it could be a, that could be one panel that comes all the way around there in the back. And I'm thinking that would be a nice panel to get, to get out beyond this piece. And then we'll have to decide what we're going to do here uh, to make this all come together. But I have changed the design of the back uh, because I had that round piece left. I didn't have any stock to make it go down square and get going what I wanted to get going. And I think... I made the right choice. I think it's going to look good like that. I think it really do. Um, yeah. So it's really coming together. Everything that I'm doing here, the, I have to think it over a bit before I get going with it. And the reason being is because I, I've never built one before. I'm not going by any specs or anything. I'm going by eye, whether, whether it's pleasing or not. Um, I have to make all of the wheel tubs that all should be done before I start sheathing it in. I would not want to sheathe it in and then try to work, work in that knot hole after. So all the wheel 
wheel tubs will be made first or hopefully and I'm gonna have to get on that I'm gonna have to get on that because the floor I should be should be all made up in front before I start sheathing it and I really want to sheathe it because I, I could sheathe it very quick I could cut these off pump 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 put them in lay the metal over cut the wheel wells out I could sheathe it we could sheathe it in a day no problem me and Jolene no piece of piss me and Doug piece of piss we could sheathe it in one day but I cannot sheathe it until I get that engine in there yeah so what I did is I took the engine out of Elvis um, I'm not going there from haven't been there for a while yet um, I can always put get another one I suppose but the engine um, was clean and that sort of stuff and I kept thinking of the 350 or the LS and I think the LS would be the better power situation for this also as I'm looking at the side I keep thinking of little things I'm thinking about little windows would look a little small windows along there might look good you know just for shits and giggles you could peek in and see the engine you know little windows not sure but we'll see what happens thanks a lot for coming back everybody and all the good comments we appreciate it um, we do it because we love it I, I love working on stuff I'm I really do like to me to go and drive one of the old cars it, it's fun but I really enjoy building them more like subscribe comment Come back, see you tomorrow, and have a fabulous day.